Kristaps Porzingis. The 7-3 power forward for the Dallas Mavericks is in quite a bit of controversy right now. The All-Star center has sat out the entire season due to a torn ACL he suffered last year. However, KP is in the news today as according to the New York Post, the NYPD is providing a rape claim against former Knicks star Kristaps Porzingis. Many questions and claims are going around social media right now. However, what really happened? Here's what we know about the Kristaps Porzingis rape allegations. Just a quick disclaimer before we start the video, in no way, shape, or form am I accusing Kristaps Porzingis of raping or sexually assaulting anyone. I am simply reading and telling you guys a simpler version of what has been told by the news and the media. Without further ado, let's get into the video. According to ESPN, a woman told police on Thursday about the alleged attack and that she had waited more than a year to come forward because Porzingis had allegedly discussed giving her $68,000 to keep her quiet. She claimed the $68,000 were going to be used to pay her brother's college tuition. The woman, who chose to disclose her name, told the NYPD that the incident occurred on February 7, 2018 at the Sky Building where Kristaps Porzingis was currently living in. Just a couple hours after tearing his ACL, the former Knicks star allegedly committed this attack. According to Complex.com, the woman claims that Porzingis knocked on her door at around 2 a.m. and asked her to accompany him to his apartment. After the woman agreed, she entered his apartment, where he allegedly held her down and sexually assaulted her. Porzingis' attorney has already denied the allegations, as he put out a statement on Twitter. We are aware of the complaint that was made against Mr. Porzingis on Friday and unequivocally deny the allegations. We made a formal referral to federal law enforcement on December 20, 2018, based on the accuser's extortionate demands. We also alerted the National Basketball Association months ago and they are aware of the ongoing investigation of the accuser by federal law enforcement. We cannot comment further on an ongoing federal investigation. Please refer any questions to the, F to the FBI or the National Basketball Association. In addition to the attorney's statement, Mavericks owner Mark Cuban informed the media that federal authorities have informed him not to comment about the allegations. We look forward to keeping you guys updated with more information on the following allegations. Please follow us on Twitter at ERO Step or on Instagram at ERO Step. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.